Figure TV. Houston ain't big enough. The series continue. <laughs> Houston ain't big enough for white supremacists and real righteous revolutionaries. Be sure to wipe your feet. You in the house of revolution. Let's get into it, y'all. Core figure King Y, the righteous revolutionary, and the big homie Quanell X, the Black Panther Muslim brother, come come together to stand up to white supremacist bigots in Tech City, Texas, after the police poke your pig gun down our young brother, uh, 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 Carlton Smith. It's in the book, Big Game Hunting. Get your copy at www.corefigures.com. That's www.corefigures.com. The book tell you about. See, the difference between me and a lot of these cats, man, I walk it like I talk it. And really, not only apply pressure, like I say, to these blackface Ku Klux Klan members, but also the real Ku Klux Klan. And in the book, Big Game Hunting, it happened to tell this story about how when I was just getting out of prison, I had been out like three months, probably four months, maybe yeah, maybe four or five months the second time, and a little brother was gunned down by the police, and I got a call saying, brother, could you come up here to the police department? Why? White supremacists up here trying to pick on the mother. She just wanted to see the video. They said Cornell X supposed to be there. I didn't know. I had never, I knew of him, but I never went to war with him. I got with some of my kinfolk. Salute to Mr. Silas. Salute to my kinfolk, Kachasa Daniels. And we got us some uh, protection. And we went up there. Not only because they, the, the people called me, and that's my city. And I was already getting into my righteous revolutionary work. The difference between me and a lot of these other people. I, I prize pressure. This was in front of the police department. Salute. I see my kinfolk. There you go, Mr. Silent. Big Beasley right there with me. Kachasa Daniels back there in the green hat. Red uh, 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 pullover right there. You see the righteous revolutionary in Magashiki right there. On the front line with so-called white supremacist leaders. And they came up there as the uh with the bikers and stuff to drown the mother out every time the mother had something to say on camera. This and the police, the, the newspaper was there. It's a legendary story. It was all on the news. And the mother kept talking. They rubbed their motorcycles, rubbed their motorcycles. Finally, I said, man, F it. Let's go handle business. And when I said that corner, I said, boom, we marched down there. That's us marching down that corner. They had brought one Muslim brother with them right there. Then I had two of my Kinfo soldiers with me. The rest of the crowd and community just was on call with us. One thing I wanted to know, and I'm nose to nose with each and every last one of these white supremacists, phonies, what y'all came to do and what are y'all talking about? This is my senior. I would never have it on my record that y'all around here saying anything disrespectful to this black mother or black people. And hey, the police abandoned these white supremacists. The ladies in the crowd, the kings attacked their women, ripped up their posters. It, it was all on news. The next day, they said they was abandoned by the police and they got shoved around. Hmm? You hear me? I'm letting them know, punk, we came to get justice. The mother gonna get justice. What you talking about? Now, that was a leader of a biker gang, bowed down immediately. And the next day, the the, uh, the newspaper came out and said there were no white supremacists. I said, man, I already got the names of them punks. This the other dude was the leader of the Aryans in prison next to him with the hat on. Man, please, we prove that's a lie. The white supremacist, leaders of white supremacist biker gangs and, and white supremacist prison gangs showed up and got checked on camera and pushed around like the phonies that they was. See, I was, like I say, five, maybe five or six months out of prison. I was fresh off a of serious business shot calling and no plan. I didn't come to play, and I didn't give a damn this was the police department. All the cameras was there. When it was over, they say, whoa, what's your name? What's King Yashua? The Minister of Defense for the Nation of Liberation. I come to play. Get these cameras by my face. Cornell was like, brother, I appreciate you coming. Brother, I'm here for you, but this is my city. And I never let these clowns play with these black people or me in any type of disrespectful tone. Huh? I'm letting them know the brother was assassinated, and you were no good punk. Man, please just what's that? What's what's in that move? Funny, do any twitch, twitch. We come for justice, and we gonna stand firm. What these phonies were saying the whole time was, oh, we come for Cornell. I, I'm a move Cornell. I said, this my city. This my city. He with us. 
You come to talk to Cuff, I, I ruined the whole party. If it was play, play, it wasn't play, play. When I got there, that was over with. The mistake they made was the people gave me the call in my city, and I showed up still long and proud. This is, this is, you see the camera day? This went all over the country. Yeah, his name Air ain't big enough for races and revolutionaries in the same ring. Now, what, what it cut off is. Dang it. What, what it cut off right there is when I moved Cornell out the way. Hold on. You right, boy? And then all hell would just broke loose out there. And the revolutionary queen started ripping up posters. And all these white guys faded, the phonies faded into the crowd. The police had set them up. I got Cornell back. We got, because all of them was, we here for Cornell. Man, I'm here for you. I want to get to know you better. Do you know who I am? The police had set them up. They wanted us to beat them silly, stomp them out, choke them down. Le left my there, baits for the wolves. But like I say, we stood very stiff that day. The mother was so happy. She thanked me, thanked me for getting those white supremacists, Ku Klux Klan bikers and neo Nazis out of face so she could try to get some justice for her baby. She just wanted to see the tape. Cornell Lake, get the book Big Game Hunting. Thank me. Because he didn't know he was showing up to Sundown Town is two cities over in Santa Fe, Texas. A lot of them was for them. They come to disrespect black people. Not that day. You know, after this day went out everywhere, I couldn't even go into uh, this one, the rise of the righteous revolutionary. I couldn't even go to the grocery store or the corner store. The people asked me, brother, what's up with the tape? The tape. I said, we're going to get the tape. The mother going to get the tape. I feel real good. And my first taste of my people being proud of me for being that for them and standing up for them. Gangsters who did who who like I say they they struggle. A bunch of street people wouldn't show up to that. That's right in front of the police department. They were like, man, why you did that's right, bro. That's right. And they knew. See, that's a vicious. I, I was vicious. I was about five or six months out of prison. What? Man, I didn't get police man, this is a battlefield. Whatever y'all want, you're gonna get it today. All on camera, they give a damn about these cameras. They finna, they, they, they finna witness revolution today. The revolution will be televised today. Like I said, I don't know what the hell was going on. If it was some type of play play. I ruined all that. Once the, once the, some people of the mother of Carlton Smith called me, that it got real. A real revolution was set in motion. And like I say, people could get the book. I, like I tell, tell you, people, I got a book about my revolutionary life. I sold more copies of this than some of you rappers done sold CDs. That's real talk. About a righteous brother coming home from prison and using his power for good, standing up to dirty cops, bringing them down. Newspaper editor, the same one tried to lie and say wasn't no white supremacist there. I brought him down. Me and my brother, King M. Pooh's credit, who wrote the book about our life right here, or Big Game Hunt Part 2 coming. But legendary tales, man. Hey, now, like I say, of me saving a young girl from being kidnapped from a world be gang banger, all that stuff is real. But they tell the story this day that Carlton Smith's mother got some justice. Because King Watt stood on righteous revolutionary business and stood with my brother Cornell X. Who you see, they, right at this point, it's the full rifle cut off, the shoving start happening. As soon as I grabbed them back, went, mm. the, 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 I salute to the queens there. Because as soon as they seen any grabbing, they moved in and, and they went to the women that was there with posters, ripped them up. Said all kind of disrespectful posters to her. Rip them up! They cried, they whined when it got dark. Man, we was all right. If any shots, we was all right. We came all right. I don't... What? Police department. Man, this could be the cemetery today behind my people. Houston ain't big enough for the righteous revolutionaries and racist bastards. The life of Cofigure King Wild. Cofigure. Follow me.